Good morning, good evening, good day everybody. My name is Mortes and welcome to Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now some pretty insane shit has been happening over the past two days. Basically, two days ago I was on 209 subscribers and I released a channel advert showing like some, some clips of me screaming along with some other stuff. Pardon me. And since then, I have gained 259 subscribers. I have more than doubled my subscribers in two days. And I just I just can't comprehend that. That is just absolutely insane. And oh my god, I for the first time since I've been doing YouTube, I think I feel like I can actually go somewhere. This is insane. Four hundred and fifty subscribers. I just cannot believe this and I'd just like to thank you guys for believing in me and getting me to the point in which I could do something like this. This is just absolutely insane. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. Now unfortunately this is rather confused the schedule because I was planning to release a 250 subscriber video which if you follow me on Twitter you already know what that is. So I'm just gonna finish it as soon as possible. Uh, that will be in the next couple of days and then I'm gonna release it and then, like, call it a 400 subscriber video, or, depending on how fast we're going to grow, a 500 subscriber video. Because this is just insane. I just, I still cannot believe that we have done that in two days, 250 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. So, just keep what you're doing. Thank you, guys. I love you. So, let's continue with this game. So, we're going to pick this thing up, and I think, oh, shit, it's going to happen here. God. Oh my god, there is another Mr. Hammer. Mr. Hammer's got his a whole family. Oh my god. Oh, you've done well for yourself, mate. You've done well for yourself, right. A bucket of tar. Well, that was fun. Mr. Hammer, I'm afraid. Mr. Hammer's family, you're going to stay here. You're going to guard the Cogrim. Me and Mr. Hammer are going to go. We're going to go and be free. I'm hearing some pretty weird noises here. I can't see Janice. Right. Guess I'm just gonna have to go and see what is down here. We've got a bucket of tar. Oh, that doesn't look fun. Oh, tinderbox! There we go. So, if you don't know our challenge already, our challenge is to finish this game with over 50 tinder boxes and looks like we're gonna do it my god that's quite loud right okay then so we what objects have we got here we've got a lot of oil we've got a lot of tinder boxes we've got a bucket of tar a piece of meat a hammer and a chipper okay so i have no idea what we're gonna make here but i'm guessing it's gonna be a pretty complicated thing which probably involves me using the meat to lure the monster to come and kill me or some shit like that. Just the way amnesia seems to get me killed uh, would make me suspect something like that. Hello? Janice? Janice! Come on, you little whore. Come on. He's a good monster. He's a good monster. Come on. Come on, Mr. Hammer. Will you protect me? Yes. Yes, I will. I know. You're the best hammer ever. Come on. Da 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 da. Oh, shit. Some pretty scary mist there. So we've been in that room, this room. So it's just that room that we haven't been in yet. Come on, Mr. Hammer. We're gonna solve this puzzle together. We're gonna solve it together, okay? Okay. I'm cool with that, man. I know. Oh my god, I love my friend Mr. Hammer. He's so cool. Oh, Ryan's playing Space Engineers. Awesome. Thank you for telling me that, Steam. And thank you for telling the whole world that. What the hell is going on here? Like, seriously, what, what is this shit? It's a hammer. Stay here, stay here. Holy shit, what is that? Like, wh what the fuck is that? It looks dangerous, I'm not walking into it. Oh 
Oh shit, wrong button. There we go. The pedestal in the chancel has, oh my god, I've got five mementos. Has a depression in it that could fit an orb. So that's where we're going to put the orb. And I'm guessing that that's going to unlock that thing. Anything else? Any tinder boxes hiding in the corner? Any Janices? They're going to try and kill me. Doesn't look like it. anything under there. That would be a good place to hide somewhere. Come on, Miss Hammer. You stay there. You guard, you guard the entrance. Right. Looks like we're gonna go and have to go back and find the pieces. Come on, Mr. Armor, we're gonna go and find those pieces. Right. I remember Agrippa said that they were going to be in the torture chambers. We haven't been there yet, I don't think. I remember those there was those two big doors. Yeah, he's still playing Space Engineers. Thank you. Is this still time for missing Dan? So, oh shit. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! I'm scared. I don't know what's going on here. Right, I'm gonna close that door. Mr. Hammer, I don't think I'll be able to take you with me through the door portal. So you're gonna stay here, you're gonna guard it, gonna make sure Janice doesn't come through, okay? Okay? That's okay, that's okay. I know. You're gonna do great. You're gonna do a great job, so stay there. Be strong, be true, and I'll see you in the next episode. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. By the way, that's not real beer. That's non-alcoholic non beer. I don't drink alcohol. Because I'm, I'm not into that shit. A lot of people just... A lot of people might just go out and get pissed. Well, what is this shit? These are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture. And you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Oh god. You've really turned into a bitch, Daniel. I mean you really have. So Our those doors are coming. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Hmm. You're not looking too good there, Gripper. Right, so... By me? I'm the next best thing. Alexander really fine. None of this is Johann Meyer. You never heard of Johann Meyer? My god, boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? No. Or is it the world who has forgotten him? Shut up, please, Agrippa. I'm trying to get through this door. Thank you. Oh my god, Mr. Hammer! Oh, you made it! How did you get here? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter, man. Oh, you're awesome. Damn it. Oh, Mr. Hammer. Wait, maybe you, we could use the saw or something. This conveniently placed saw. Come on. We're gonna have a go at sawing through this wood. Okay, I don't think that's working. Uh, come on, Mr. Hammer. We're going back upstairs. Anything out there? No. Okay. I assume we're going to have to get into the laboratory at some point. So, what? We're just going to... Maybe there's like an axe or something in here. That I didn't see on my first attempt. Because I wasn't looking for it. Oh my god! We can play this game again! I love this game! This should become an international sport. Pew! Oh, it's so much fun. Come on, Mr. Hammer. Ah. Uh, no. Any axes or anything? There's some more wood. Don't we all love wood? Okay, I'm not really seeing anything. Not really seeing anything at all here that I could use to break down some wood. So we're gonna go back up to those levers. I'm guessing that that cog we fixed last episode was connected to the levers in some way. Because I really don't see anything else that we can do. 
I'm guessing that they opened those two other doors, and those are the torture chambers, which we're going to get the orbs from, and then we're going to find something there that's going to allow us to open the laboratory, and then from there, we are going to fix the orb in the laboratory, and then we're going to go through, uh, somehow find the notes um, by John Weir that Agrippa needs. Mama Santa. Okay, so I'm guessing it's down here. That was one of them. And then from there, we're going to help Agrippa, like, I don't know, take his soul or something. Because he doesn't look very fit. Uh, is there a door here? No, there isn't. That's great. And then we're going to somehow uh, put the orb in its thing and fix it and then go and kill Alexander. Oh my god, it's working. That's so awesome. How about this one? Yeah! What did I do? Was it those doors? Any oil left? Ah, that's good. We got some more oil. Nice. Uh, let's put another one of them in. We're actually running quite low. We've only got two. Come on, Mr. Hammer. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, Mr. Hammer. I'm hoping Janice doesn't come out of there. Oh, I actually forgot to check when I started recording. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I oh God! Let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Damn it! What are you doing? I'm gonna turn my lantern off. So if there's a monster here, it can't see me. Janice. Janice. Don't play any tricks on me now, you bitch. Don't play any tricks on me now. Hey, hey, Agrippa, how's it going, man? How's it going? Any more inspiration for something else? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Oh, I got the doors open. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm pretty cool, Agrippa. So, which way? Left or right? Eeny, meeny, miny, right. I'm gonna crouch. I don't like standing up. At least I can hide in the darkness. I really... This game is starting to get really creepy again. There was a part there where I, like, wasn't too scared of it. Because I'd been playing it for a while and nothing really had changed, but now it's starting to get really scary again. Right. Alright, what is this shit? Right, some sort of study. So, I'm looking for some notes, I'm guessing, by John Veyer. Ah! Uh, lad, nah, nah. Come to me, baby. Come on, you can go and sit on the table. You can go and sit on the table, Mr. Hammer. Well, let me pick you up. There we go. You can sit there on top of the nice book. And here we go. We have... Wait, what was that? Oh, no. It's nothing. It just looked like one of the bottles from earlier. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to read all this again. How big is it? It's quite big. Where taunts me from the other side? I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. Wait, what? How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Weir claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that needs me to... But that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to be part of him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is the most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tampter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems 
seems to be fertile grounds for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The Vitae should be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. So, I'm guessing... Adrenaline, or something. I need... I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamtor, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it is a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling Cairnk. The water dwell Francis! It's Francis! I will have to address Ware with this, and he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well... A properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Cool. Right, we got another thing. And I see a tinderbox over there. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. Awesome. So we gotta find those three ingredients. Tinderbox, you're mine. Okay, anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. I'd, I'd really like some oil or something. No, none hidden behind there. Anything in here? Hoot! Hoot! Ah, no. It could have been. It could have been. But it wasn't. Oh my god, I'm using up so much oil. Alright, here we go. Shit. Right, come on. Come on, Mr. Hammer. We're gonna do this. Open the door. Here we go, baby. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave you there, Hammer. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Oh, wow. This this does not look fun at all. Oh, God. Oh, well, this looks great. Close the door behind me. I spotted something down here. And it's a tinderbox. Nice. What is this? Is this a torture chamber, then? Oh, my God. It's another one. How many are we on now? 56. Nice. Oh, it's Mr. Hammer. Oh, my God. How can you teleport like this? This is absolutely insane. I love... Oh, my God. You're such an awesome follower. If only all my followers are... Yeah, if only everyone was a hammer. That was weird. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Come on, Mr. Hammer. Yeah, if only everyone was a teleporting hammer, that would make the world so much awesomer. No, close. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Hammer. Let me pick you up. Jump. For God's sake, just jump. Jump. Get on the fucking table. Ah, oh, you you can go there, Mr. Hammer. Oh! 15th of August, 1830. That was painful. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. I want to stab the bastard. There we go. I stabbed him. Please. I didn't do anything. Cut the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines, please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. You were a bitch, Daniel. You were an utter bitch. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more. Withdraw your shadow from my domain! Oh god! Oh god!
And on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you can't wait to see what's going to happen in tomorrow's episode, I've done two lines. They make a circle. Don't fault my geometry. It's perfectly sound. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you bros next time. Ta-da!